The illegal wildlife trade is worth more than $30 billion globally. So traffickers go to extreme lengths to smuggle them out of the country. Trying to catch them is a constant battle. One promising solution is housed here at Australia Post's International Gateway Facility. Oh, there's so many conveyor belts. I feel like I'm in the biggest sushi train. It screens 80% of all mail and freight entering and exiting the country. Look at it, it's just parcels and parcels and parcels. Last year alone, over 24 million mail articles were scanned and sniffed by biosecurity officers. 50,000 of those were caught with biosecurity risks inside including more than 150 native lizards being sent overseas. So how hard is it to find trafficked wildlife amongst all of this? OK, that just looks like a series of blurs to me, literally. If you don't know what you're looking at, it is. What are the weaknesses of this system then, Kira? If there is anything concealed in inside items, you're unable to cut through them. You can't rotate them. So that under a metal plate or something, there could be yeah. a contraband item yeah. hiding away. But I'm keen to put my detective skills to the test. You're going to have some biosecurity risk items that are coming through and you'll have to point them out. Okay. So you're going to be looking for things like meat, seafood and plant material. OK, uh, that looks like bacon. Bacon? <laughs> OK, I'll give you a hint. It's nothing in that one. <laughs> God, you're tricky. Oh, okay, what am I missing? This is hard. It looks a little bit like a tentacle. Like, <laughs> like a tail? No, I really no? There's seafood in that one. Ah, uh, well, I won't be giving up my day job. <laughs> this is obviously really cool, but really difficult. Yeah. So is there a better way? Yes, we have new technology, and I can take you and have a look. Let's go. Do I get to have a go at that one as well? <laughs> to increase the speed and accuracy of their biosecurity scanning, the team here have created a unique solution. Combining state-of-the-art 3D X-ray with a custom-built detection algorithm. And wildlife scientist Vanessa Perotta is teaching it how to identify trafficked animals. All right, what do you got in this esky? In this esky, I have a variety of deceased species. Oh, my goodness. What is that? This is a species not native to Australia, a Californian king snake. Wow. We have some deceased blue tongue lizards. All of these animals died during previous trafficking attempts. <gasps> A crocodile. Yes. But from tragedy comes hope. These specimens are key to the 3D X-ray trial. We're going to put them in here, into oh. the luggage. OK. I'm going to be taking these animals, scanning them, and then we're going to be training a computer to look for these in the future. All right, X-rays are on. Let's send it through. It's a pretty gory suitcase, for sure. But this algorithm is learning how to spot lizards and snakes and all sorts of animals. So with this one push, I'm creating an AI memory. Let's see here, ready? It's going to go through the X-ray right now. And before it arrives there, we're going to see it right there. <gasps> This is what's so cool about this technology. It happens in real time, and we can see the animal in not just 2D anymore, we're going 3D. Wow, look at its little legs and everything. It's That's so detailed. You can see like some of the skull morphology. That's right. 3D, in my opinion, is awesome, because 3D allows us to manipulate in ways that we would have never thought possible. This gives the team a better chance of detecting animals hidden inside containers or obscured by solid objects. As Kira's manipulating it, you can see above, around, behind things. That's got to be amazing for your job, to be able to flip it upside down, yeah. essentially, look past an object. The technology is always learning. It's hoped that the AI will be able to identify a suspect package on its own. So Vanessa is teaching it what animals look like when they're x-rayed. It is comprised of different materials, which we're going to train the algorithm to look for. The red here, you yeah. can see the skeleton. Cool. The meat is a different colour. And essentially, this is a great starting point for the algorithm to go, OK, that's meat, and then compare it with a different density. 
So the more times you put this lizard and other animals through, the smarter and smarter the machine gets. That's right, with more data, we can create better algorithms. So how much more effective is this huge big scanner compared to the smaller 2D ones? Compared to the 2D, it is four times more effective on the 3D. So that could be four times more parcels picked up if they had meat Bio or animals. Risk. Yes. That's incredible. Yeah. But just how smart can this algorithm get, you reckon? As wildlife smuggling evolves, this technology is also evolving with it. Our technology is going to be keeping up with what people are doing and that's key for us to keep on top of this at the front line. Something like 80% of all Australia's flora and fauna is endemic, only found here. And that means it's rare internationally and desired by collectors. But it's people like Kira and algorithms like this that are going to help prevent us losing more of our wildlife in the future.